Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to Taipei in Taiwan. This has been top of my list of destinations to come to for a very long time. I'm very happy to finally be in Taipei because this place looks photogenic. So we're currently on a roof terrace uh, of a bar called Morton's. We are we here it. with Ellie and <laughs> just over there we have our friend Bonnie um, who I was gonna say lives with us in London. She doesn't live with us in London. <laughs> I mean, she might as well do, she's always around. Um, and our friend Steve, he lives here and is showing us some great spots. Steve and Bonnie, can I Hi. add you back into the vlog? Um, we were just saying it was, what, two and a bit years ago that you were on the vlog? Yes, it's been a while. And Bonnie, I think this is your debut. I think it's my first time. <laughs> I'm actually shooting with the 18 to 55. I very rarely use this lens, but I brought it with me because I knew we'd get some wide shots. 101. <laughs> 101. 101 on your list. <laughs> it's me, 101 with 101, because 101 was top of the one of my 101 buildings that I want to see, and. Uh, 101 was one. <laughs> and it, it was number one. It's one of them that's number one. I'm so happy. I've wanted to see this ever since they topped it out and finished it. And I was only this tall, this old. I don't care if the weather's grey. It's a magnificent bit. I am. I am fully Are you Fuji. Fully Fuji right now? Yes. <laughs> Except for this guy. That's a big commitment. If I, we can use this as an opportunity. This is the GH5S as loaned to me by Panasonic. Thank you. <laughs> So it's predicted to rain pretty much all day today um, and we're staying in an area near Shimenting or Shimending, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it um, and uh, yeah I kind of want to explore these streets around here because it looks like it comes alive like it's got some sort of character to it that's just really appealing this is a street photographer's dream so you guys should know that i love shooting in the rain uh the rain doesn't really get in the way of my photography but it does make it more difficult when you're vlogging and stuff so i'm sorry if this video kind of ends up all over the place jumping between spots uh, but where possible i'm just going to throw my photos in on the screen We're in Taipei today. I am shooting with my trusty Fujifilm X-H1 uh, and I've got the 35mm f2 on. Now as for the photos themselves that I'm featuring in this video and also what goes onto our blog, they will be edited with my Lightroom presets. So I use my Urban Chrome set which were originally designed on uh, photos from Japan and other parts of Asia and I can already feel it's going to work here. Um, I have been creating some new styles as well, but I just keep coming back time and time again to my Urban Chrome set. And the feedback I get from you guys who have also bought them is just incredible. I really do love how much they have been loved by other people. Um, so if you do want to get your hands on them, they are linked in the description. Um, and essentially they work as a quick sort of start to the edit of your images. So they work as a good consistent base across all of your images and then from there you can make further tweaks. Um, and they're also a great way for you guys to help support this channel if you do enjoy what you're watching. I do also follow on Instagram the hashtag JA Urban Chrome and uh, I'm consistently checking those out and I'm thinking I might start featuring some um, just working out what the the best way is to help you guys out. So if it's maybe doing it in my stories on Instagram um, or something like that. If you've got suggestions on how I can help kind of like spread that and help support your work then uh, I'd be definitely open to hearing that. It's feeling really full from all the, from all the dumplings. 
You've had a lot of dumps. <laughs> a lot of dumps. And only a couple of nudes. And now we're just... Get to try the nudes. Yeah. No, we have beef noodles. Yeah, but, but we want more. Yeah, <laughs> we want more. Um, that was just like a teaser, like a taster. Yeah, uh, of what's to come. Exactly. So one of the things that gets asked quite a lot is how do we travel? And usually it goes down the route of how Ellie is hungry. Yes. <laughs> we and go to those areas and then we find the places to shoot. Oh, and now that we've got Bonnie there. with us, yeah. we've got Bonnie hungry and there's a shot here. Hold on. a Taiwan vending machine, so we're going to give this a go. By the way, $20 is 50 pence. Let's give Mr. Brown a go. I keep crossing the roads and everywhere is like just so photogenic. And these two are always just waiting for me <laughs> at the yeah, end of the road. Yeah, Joe. Um, Good time. <laughs> it's just, oh, you can't like not cross a road and just want to stop and get shots though. That's true. That's true. The good thing just, about in Taiwan is that the walking time, they give you a lot of walking time. True. Yeah. Like they give you, give you like a full 90 seconds for a long time. Like a little road, display telling you. Which is good. Although that one was 45 seconds and it was far yeah. bigger than yesterday's 60 second one. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But yeah, I don't feel as pressured by the drivers. So um, thank you, Taiwanese drivers, for not being so neck breathing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're heading to Dihua Street, which has been recommended multiple times. Um, so I want to thank you again for all of your recommendations in the Instagram DMs. Sorry I can't get back to everyone, it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes. Um, but I do always mark places on the map and Dihua looks pretty traditional. It looks like a old sort of style of Taiwan I guess. I mean obviously I wasn't here during that time but I think it looks good. We've also been messaging Steve and he should be meeting us uh, fairly soon. So uh, yeah, it's always nice traveling with a local and Steve has become a good friend of ours. It's, um, yeah, it's always fun. Hashtag made in Taiwan. So we've arrived at Dihua Street now and I'm immediately getting vibes similar to Georgetown, Penang. It's cool. There's just some, there is like a, there's a creative edge here. I'm loving it. Uh, we just popped into some like designer store. We were looking at all these little trinkets and things. And you, you know the type of store that just catches your attention. You don't know why, but it's just cool. Uh, there's like a little brewery here that looks great. And yeah, there's just, there are things happening. Um, but it's chill. It's like, it's like chill busy. It's chill hot. <laughs> One latte, please. Oh. I don't know how many times I've mentioned it in vlogs. Maybe someone can do a super cut of this. But my god, do I love a wet down. When it's been raining, it just makes everything naturally more contrasty, reflective, shiny. It's so great. Shooting in the rain is one of my favorite things. I'm also very glad that Ellie's dad's loaned me his golfing jacket um, because I don't really have a decent jacket to take with me from Japan. So yeah, honestly, wet downs, they are the secret to good contrast in your images that is natural and not overdone. As they do before all movies, they will wet the floor down just to give it that nice, nice texture, that nice look. And also I think Taipei really has a grit about it. I'm just loving this grit. It's got character, it's got feeling. It's, I just can't tell you enough how, how happy and excited I am to just be out exploring new streets again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Mr. Steve Collins has arrived. Good afternoon. Seattle Steve, how's it going? Um, it feels like home with all the rain. Bonnie, <laughs> <laughs> oh, want you to sit on this wheelchair? <laughs> it's authentic. It's an authentic experience. But also because yeah. she's five foot. <laughs> so it yeah. Sense. And it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Would you mind sharing what camera and lens you're using? Um, today I'm on the uh, Fuji uh, X-H1 with the 16 
uh, shooting, I guess you call it twilight right now. Yeah. Um, dark twilight. It, it, yeah, dark, a little bit of rain. Uh, shooting F4 and uh, shutter priority at 1 125th in auto nice. ISO. Is this the, the 16 mil that's got like, noisy? <laughs> Is this the, the 16 mil that has like no distortion? It's a beautiful, yes. Yeah, okay. It is absolutely one of the best wides I've ever used. I never like shooting wide because of distortion and other stuff. Take it. Try it yeah. out. I look forward to seeing your images. One of the reasons I really love Steve's images is because they are just everyday shots. They're not going for, you know, the epic landscapes that you see all the time everywhere. It is everyday visual journey and I love that. That's kind of the photography that I like to do. Um, so yeah, definitely go and check out Steve's Instagram. You got some beautiful images, and your Leica as well. Yeah. Do you have that with you? Got the Leica in here. We'll crack it out a little bit later. Yeah. Yep. If you remember Speaking that. Speaking of, you got this guy here. Go for it. If you remember the vlog we made uh, a couple of years back with Steve and Dave both shooting Leicas and Summilux 28 mils? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or Summicron? Exactly. What's the difference? Uh, I had a Summicron 28, so it was a f2 lens. Uh, and tonight is the same camera, but with a 50 Summilux, nice. uh, the 1.4. 1.4. Very, very nice. <laughs> Bonnie, do you feel like you need a camera? Uh, it's okay. I'm looking for food right now. Sound of Bonnie. I feel like we're actually all getting some incredible shots here. This crossroad has so much activity. The lighting right now is just perfect. It's getting dark because the sun's going down, but then the lights of the shops and the red and everything, like it's all adding up to some great shots. I mean, it looks great through the viewfinder, so I might just walk around with my camera to my face. And uh, we've only done one corner of this crosswalk, so maybe there's more on the other side. Who knows? Who bloody knows? If you didn't document it, it didn't happen. <laughs> it's Uber time. Uber. <laughs> Uber, Uber, Uber. Hey. Okay. okay, so we've just had a couple of drinks and made our way in an Uber. <laughs> Up to this area in Dan. How are we, how are we deciding Dan. it? Dan. 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 It's like Nan, but Dan. It is. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this area I found on uh, Google Street View that looked pretty cool because you can yeah. see Taipei 101. Um, there are many alleyways that kind of point in that direction, and um, yeah, so kind of like walked around Google Maps and. That should hopefully help us because it is still raining quite heavily, and uh, we'll get some food nearby if we can find something. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. It's actually raining a lot more than we all thought. Um, these cameras are weather sealed, but you know, there's a limit to how wet things can get. And also, not everyone's taking photos. Um, I did get a couple of good photos of Bonnie and Steve walking up with Taipei 101 in the background. I'm happy with those. I've seen some things. I think we're going to get some food and maybe call it a night. But I, I may still get some shots along the way. Maybe it will stop raining on the way back. Who knows? We've still got time. It is currently 8pm, so we've still got time this evening. But otherwise, I feel like this has been a good video so far. And uh, I look forward to the next one where we will see more of Taipei.